Away you go. Good afternoon, everyone. God bless you all. We're just here spreading the word, the good news. And I just want to talk about the effects that uh, sin has on each one's life. And the job of the devil is to, to steal, to kill and destroy. Is he working in your life? Do you suffer from systems of control or deceptions, fear, or sexual sins, infirmities, usually from occult backgrounds, somewhere in the family line? There, uh, maybe, you, maybe abandonment. Maybe you've been alone and under the whispering of demons. The lies that cause you to think that you're a bad person. Can you can you connect with any of these things? Maybe you feel isolated and feeling that there's no one no one to help. Have you moved into de deceptive secret life, leading a double life? Any soul and spiritual hurts, demonic oppressions, ungodly beliefs, untruths, and half untruths. See, self sins, curses, and family, family generational sins of the father. If you can connect to any of those things, you're under the oppression of demons, and it's because of your sins that this is happening. You're allowing these supernatural things to happen to you. Now, getting free and staying free. You know, there, there's a few steps in doing this, but the most important thing is forgiveness. You know, forgiveness is the key for you to receive your victory over the bad things that are happening to you. And it all starts with being able to, first of all, forgive the wrong that, that people have put on you, the hurts, and it's very important that you forgive yourself as well. You've got to love yourself and forgive yourself. You've got to forgive others. And repentance is really asking God's forgiveness. See, forgiveness is the principal, principal activity and it's a heart attitude needed to pave the way to freedom. Forgiveness is the way to breach the separation from God. When you, when you sin. See, what happens when you sin, there's a change in your thinking, in your perspective, the way you look at things and the way you look at yourself. And the innocence that you, you, you lose because of sin, pure perspective, changes in you. And what happens, you begin to see evil instead of good things and you feel shame. That's what sin does to you, it destroys you slowly. It's like a cancer eating at you. And if you don't do anything about it, it will destroy you because the Bible says the curse of sin is death. That's a complete separation from God. When that happens, there's no way you're gonna make it to heaven. The Bible says there's another place called hell. So if you don't do something about the sins and the way you live, there's no chance of you being freed from all the things that are happening to you. See, atonement by the washing of, bl of the blood of Jesus Christ, crucified, and being born spiritually by the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, the condition involves a life sincere, wholeheartedly and loyal devo devotion to God. So once you repent and you receive a supernatural touch from God, that's the thing that will move you to change and draw you to repentance and then give you the revelation of who Jesus is so you can have a life change and a complete change and be free. You know, in Romans 3.23 it says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3.10 it says, Perfection is done, perfection is gone because of sin. We have all come short of the glory of God. See, with forgiveness, the healing begins. And you need 
God to come to heal your, your heart of your pain and your hurt. And that happens when you ask God, spiritual, Holy Spirit, called a strong man. He empowers you and he gives you victory and it's called being born again in the Bible. So that's what you need for victory. and You need to cast out the demons that are oppressing you and inflicting you with hurt and pain um, and suffering. And they're there to divide the unity that you have with your family, the unity with your friends, and they're there to divide you and pull you down. Without the Holy Spirit, your demons of hurt and pain will continue to bring up the past, reminding you of your hurt and pain and to steal and rob from you your freedom, your joy and your peace. Now, if you just come up to me and say you repent and you're sorry and it's not sincere, I mean, that, that's only lip, lip service. It's meaningless and there will be no healing, pretending only and sabotaging your healing because of it. Your part is acknowledging unforgiveness, also forgiving yourself, for it's an act of your will. So it's a hard thing, and in order you to be freed from your pain and your bondages, the first step is to come into forgiveness. Come to God and ask Him to forgive you of your wrongs and your sins. And you've got to acknowledge that you're a sinner. You've got to be prepared to forgive the people who have hurt you as well. And in some cases, it's not an easy, it's not an easy thing to do. And it might take a few steps. But you've got to have that willingness to do it. And if you'll ask God to forgive you, he will. Because his word is true. He said he'll forgive you. So, and not only will he forgive you, but he throws all the wrong things into the lake of fire. And he, he will not bring it up again. So, if you're feeling these things that I've, I've been speaking about, examine yourself, and there is a way out. And that way out is Jesus, Jesus Christ, acknowledged his death on the cross and be aware that he died for you because God loves you. You're very important. He came and united us back to God. He broke the separation from the original sin. If you'll take the step and accept it, receive Jesus as your Lord and your Saviour, receive your freedom. Jesus came to set the captives free. Now I'm just going to share a quick quick blessing prayer. And it's for you to come to God willingly, acknowledging that you're a sinner, asking his forgiveness, and make Jesus your Lord and Saviour now. You can do it this very instant. So I'm asking the power of the Holy Spirit now to touch you and to draw you and to convict you of your sins. Cry out to Jesus now, ask God's forgiveness, and receive your salvation. Say this prayer with us. I repent of my sin. Jesus died for me, that he was crucified, and he arose from the dead. Jesus, come into my heart. For the people who say that sincerely, you've cried out and asked God's forgiveness, receive the power of the Holy Spirit and the love of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, God bless you all.